congratulations on the win already. Thank you. Thank you. Very exciting to, you know, do the red carpet after you've already won. I wasn't expecting this, you know. I mean, I those guys had huge records, you know, each one of those those bands. I mean, I've, I've, I've been rewarded, so it was really especially sweet and a little bit bittersweet because I... You don't want to take it at the expense of other people that deserve it too. There's been so many great, you know, artists and albums nominated this year. Is there any that you were particularly impressed with? That um, well, all of my the people that were in my category. You know, John Fulbright, I just think is incredible. I love Mumford and Sons' record. There's some terrific um, blues records. Doctor John just won one. It'll be fantastic. I mean, it's really hard to, for me to vote because a lot of these people are friends of mine, and I think they're doing the best work of their career. And, uh, you know, it's hard to play favorites, but I think between the Music Cares event and the, the Americana event at the Troubadour last night and the Grammys tonight, it's going to be, I'm going to get to hear. And the afternoon shows were incredible for the award shows, so it's a lot of music in four days, but I'm ready for it. How was Music Cares? What was it like oh, on the inside? Fantastic. I got to sit with John Legend for dinner. and. He just knocked out Dancing in the Dark. He did this beautiful, I think they make a DVD of it, so people will just be checking it out, because Neil Young, I mean, Tom Morello, Jackson Brown, everybody just tore it up. Um, obviously, you're a veteran of the music industry, and you've had a ton of success. How are you seeing the music landscape changing today? Well, with the internet and social media, it changes everything, because you can actually, that's why I could have my own label, because you can get the information about your new album out and include special live tracks and special seating because of the, the, the website. People can instantly access your whole catalog, you know, and come and get tickets to your show. So it really, the music business didn't used to be as, as easy for the artist to be able to, to participate and control. So I think uh, in some ways, you know, we've got some challenges with downloading and not not getting enough money for airplay you know on certain listening sites you know uh, there needs to be more artist rights I'm sitting at the table with the industries that are making money you know if somebody's gonna watch our stuff we need to get paid too so there's that and then there's never been an easier way to get your music out Absolutely. yeah yeah. What's next for you? You obviously have your own label. Are you planning on getting back in the studio and making more music, or are you I focused? Will, but, I will, but we just finished an 85-city tour here in the States, and we're going all overseas all year until the fall, and then we go back and hit for two months all the cities we didn't hit in, the, in America this first time. So we're going to Australia, New Zealand, and the Philippines, and Hawaii in like about a week, and then we go to uh, the U.K. and Europe all summer. So it's exciting. <laughs>